consistently experiencing joy is the output of a harmonious life. And that, that's, what, that's what we're trying to achieve, consistent joy. Because uh, experiencing joy over an extended period of time is what it is to be happy. And if you want to be happy, you have got to build your life in a way that you consistently experience joy. Welcome to Build with Rob. It's your boy, Rob Deerdeck. Uh, you know what it is down here? Uh, just love sharing the philosophy that is the machine mindset. Love everybody to, to look at themselves as this fully integrated, beautiful system on system on system on system system that you are trying to master and get control of and live with intention and grow into the ideal version of yourself on an ongoing basis forever and ever into someone you didn't even know could even exist, but is a derivative of you because you evolved in there in the first place. That's the trippy part about evolution is it is subtle. And since you know the exact path that, that you grew to get there, it just seems so um, likely after the fact. You know, uh, it just seems like, well, of course I evolved into this direction because... Um, that's what was happening to me in my, my, my life that allowed me to, to be open to different experiences that evolved me into a different person, but I'm still the same person. Um, that is evolution, you know, and, and it is, it is the key, um, as you've heard me, me speak about many, many times of, of driving your existence um, into a harmonious state. And, and as I've been, you know, really, you know, diving deeper into continually, um, thinking about how to, how to take, you know, what I've experienced, what I've learned and, um, what actually has happened in my life, you know, over these last, you know, five, six, seven years, uh, and, and turn it into, to, you know, stories and ideas and, and a philosophy that's shareable you know, I always, always, you know, keep going back to, you know, everybody's why, the human why is to live a harmonious, high quality life. And to me that, you know, it, it, it makes a lot of sense because at the end of the day, it's like you really, it, you want to be balanced in all aspects of life. You want to continually be growing in all aspects of life. And, and ultimately when you're, when you're living in this state, it, that means you're, you're going from thing to thing with more intention and you're doing stuff that you want to do with purpose, living a more intentional life, designing your time and ending up in a present experience by your design that is ultimately about you uh, enjoying it, it giving you energy, it being there, there's a reason why you're there and you're there to find joy, you know, and and it really you know, kind of like revealed itself to me that like, okay, wow, you know, when you really think about what it means to be happy, like it's this very difficult thing to define. You know, I think for decades and as long as we've been alive and this world has been trying to to understand uh, the meaning of life, it, it's also been trying to define what does it mean to be happy. And for me, being happy really is uh, a state of being, of feeling joy in the present experience. And then if you are experiencing that joy on a consistent basis, that is when you feel happy and your life feels like you have a happy life. And it, it seems so simple. Well, now that makes sense. You know, like... Um, you know, I'm, uh, what do I got to do to do that? All I want to do is find joy more consistent, Rob. What do I got to do? And the problem is, is most of us, you know, design our life systems and our sort of rhythms to how we operate to where even um, creating and having joy on a consistent basis isn't even possible. 
It's just not even possible. It's like, you know, you, you can't um, not take care of yourself, you know, stay up late, eat, eat, eat and drink, and then have to get up to go to a job that, that you think is okay, then try to avoid the one coworker that just irks you, like, and then uh, get home for your only moment of joy is the gap of, like, where the day's over, you're not completely exhausted where you're going to fall asleep, and you can do something for two hours without any responsibility, uh, and you can dedicate that time to scrolling through your phone and watching Netflix. That is your moment of joy. That's nice. It's nice. You know what I mean? It's nice. You know what I mean? I still do it to this day. You know what I mean? You catch me on the couch and the phone at the same time. I'm multitasking. Getting dopamine hits left and right. Now, if that's the only place you find joy, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You know, and and that's why your overall life, uh, you don't feel happy, and and you're you're upset, or or this thing triggers you, that thing triggers you. It's like when you begin to look at how everything integrates together, that that only allows you to experience joy in pockets. Then it's like, man, then it's like you're. You begin hunting pockets of joy, which will will always make it feel like happiness is elusive, and I don't know if I could ever do it, and I'm always constantly struggling, and 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 this and that. Like that is when your system is built in a way that like you're putting more energy into finding, um, you know. Uh, these small moments of joy, but then when you get back into your mind and the rest of your life, you are basically uh, being dragged down into this less energetic and more hopeless and dwelling and and sort of worrying phase of life, you know, and and it's based off of every single input that, that you've created in your life. And, and ultimately, you know, you have to use this extraordinary energy and discipline to ever try to break out of that, you know, and, and that's the, that's the whole, um, sort of vision behind the machine mindset and, and the philosophy in itself is like, man, you are all of these, um, these integrated systems and all of these things that are happening in your life and everything that you choose to do in your life, every thought that you have is either giving or taking energy. And and if you are in a world where you're um, having your energy taken from you a lot more than things are giving energy to you, then you are going to be in this chaotic state that is searching for joy and, and, pockets in order to find just a smidgen of happiness before you go back to the chaos, you know? And and I like to say, like, we live in a a wig on a pig world and and a lot of people live a wig on a pig lifestyle. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you know, like, you know, having a a job that you don't like and being around people that, that you, you don't have a good relationship with or toxic and, and, you know, uh, just, just, let me get to a like two glasses of wine in my favorite show uh, to make my life feel better. That's a wig on a pig. That's a wig on a pig. You know, like the you know, I'm gonna work like super hard and then go on vacation, and and the vacation is what's gonna make it all worth it. That's a wig on a pig. That's a wig on a pig. You know what I mean? And it goes, hey, and then as you get older and your body breaks down and you're and you're you're unhealthy and you don't want to take care of yourself and now your back hurts. Oh man, I gotta get the injections. I gotta get the injections for that pain. Uh, because this my this is what happened to me. It's just like my dad, this guy, whoa, I got the injections right there in the back. Take away the pain for a couple weeks. Wig on a pig. You know what I mean? It's that wig on a pig lifestyle. It's like, you know, rather than, you know, really looking at everything and how everything matters and connects together and that that your um, 
never going to be able to ultimately get yourself into a more sustained place of joy unless you you begin to assess everything and look at how it all integrates together and begin to make make changes um as it relates to all of it you know and and it's not as difficult you know as it seems depending on how far gone you are you know it, it not and I don't mean far gone as in you can't ever get it back, but there's there's no doubt, um, you know, to 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 really make change in anything, uh, especially life. You know, you can't just change a part of it. Uh, you've got to change all of it. You know, and and because all of it connects together, and and the more you can begin to see like all of these things that you're trading time and energy for, and how you've created these habits that make things easier for you, but these habits ultimately create a system that is more dysfunctional that just does not allow you uh, to end up creating. Uh, a life where you get to do more things that you find joy in instead you are doing all of these different things that you don't like to do just to get to to one moment of joy here and there throughout the week throughout the month i mean think about like listen to the way that that sounds Listen to the way that that sounds. You know what I mean? If you can only get one or two hours a day where you enjoy uh, your time and find joy in that time, like um, that you only get a small percentage of your life, five to six percent of percent of your life you actually find joy in, um, you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy. You know, and and the truth is, is like when you begin to look at like, you know, you, you really begin to take care of yourself and start eating well, then you start sleeping better. Then then your your overall self-worth and feeling and energy begin to rise. And now you you have the extra energy to make change in, you know, your your workplace, your career. What can you do to make it better? What can you do to make it easier? Like uh, what can you do to begin to work on something new? You know, the, the same way that then that energy now um, gives you a reason to work on something that's going to give you a better future and give you more potential joy rather than uh, just being exhausted and finding joy in something um, that isn't pushing you towards a better future. Scrolling on Instagram, watching Netflix, you know, whatever it may be. It's it's that sort of combination of all of these different things um, that begin to set in motion the energy that can guide you towards getting to a place where you're doing more things during the day that you find joy in. And I mean, you know, um, you know, even if it is, you know, like getting up the hour early and, you know, you know, I love, you know, talking about how important that extra hour can be um, for people. And some people, you know, are like, I'm a, I'm a night owl, you know, I have to take an extra hour at night, you know, and that's fine. Uh, but but anything that is is dedicated to creating value for you, bringing joy for you, or giving you the space or the time that allows you to look at the other aspects of your life and what can you do uh, to to change these in order to get yourself into a place where you're experiencing joy on a more consistent basis. And, and again, it's like everything in this game is about growing and evolving into it over time. And it may be insurmountable depending on like where your mind is and like where you're at in life. But it all it takes is the action and beginning to move towards that uh, and even if it is, you know, three or four years from now before you could change a job uh, all for a variety of different reasons, like if you begin the pathway there, what what was going to be three to four years could be a year and a half. And then boom, like, you know, you were you, like you weren't motivated because it was so far away. But because you took the steps anyway, like, bam, op, the universe uh, answers the energy and there you have it. And now it happens in like a year and a half to get you to a job that now you enjoy. And look at that. Just like that. One big shift like that, you automatically 
uh, now have this huge portion of your life where you are now experiencing like joy on a more consistent basis because you're no longer in an environment that's taking energy from you. The same way that if if you just always stress about money but you don't save money uh, because you don't make enough, but then you you uh, start spending less and create a strategy to make a little bit more and then just start saving it, by the time you get to, um, you know, uh, a, a year, two years down the line, and now you've stayed consistent and committed to it, and now you have a savings, like, and now you got the 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 job with with that that's more in line with your core values and who you are, and a little bit of savings, and and you have grown and evolved into this place a little bit healthier. Now you're finding more joy and more aspects of your life based off of uh, the different things that were pulling energy and taking from that joy that forced you into doing all these things that you didn't didn't enjoy doing the most that led to a wig on a pig lifestyle where you ultimately are only doing the things um that you have to do and in, in order to get to to having one moment of joy um in order to feel better you know i i just think that that's a um when you think about your overall life and what you're trying to grow into if you look at it through that lens of, you know, this amount of time, what am I doing and how is it making me feel, right? And 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 it's it's easy to generally assess, right? As opposed to getting as deep as as I have gotten of like really looking at my days and and giving them a 0 to 10 score and really using that qualitative data to get to give further insight, which I really love. And I know a lot of people that listen to this show do their own version of it, which I just love. And, you know, eventually, you know, I I when I get this software cooking, like I want to be able, I want everyone to be able to rate, you know, how every hour feels, you know, I'd love to ultimately plug in like biometrics and like, you know, you wear a trackable and or wearable and it, it gives you all this feedback of like what, what you were doing during the day and how your body was feeling so that like you really begin to have insight on like, you know, um, what can help further push you uh, towards getting you to, to 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 have enough information to know that you need to make change in order to create a a life of intention that leads to a more joyful experience in whatever you have chosen to do uh, for every bit of your life because that is the pathway to happiness, you know. And it's it's most people. Um, Look at happiness in these big chunks. Like, oh, if I would just meet the person. Oh, if I could just have this, this job. Oh, if I could just have this much money. Um, when uh, really all of it is interconnected, all works together for you to actually have all of it. And then when you begin to get all of it, and then you begin to, to experience more of life, that you actually find joy in, that's where happiness is. That's where the happiness is, you know? And, and you know, it, it's another way, a less um, technical way of, you know, talking through, um, you know, my machine mindset philosophy of, you know, your life is these core four systems um uh, that integrate together that make up your whole life and all these systems you want to in them to integrate together to create in a harmonious way uh and, and expand towards um the ideal version of what you would want out of these systems in life work health and wealth like it, it it's the less technical way of of thinking about it because it's 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 much more simple when you can just begin to evaluate where you actually find joy in the parts of your life. And if there's people in your life that, that you spend time with that, that, that suck the joy out, suck the energy out, like it's so obvious. If you have big, big, big things like a career or a job that, 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 that pulls the joy out, like it's so obvious. And it, and I would think that like for the most part, we all have a handful of things that that we needed to get into order 
um, relationship, taking care of ourselves, like uh, understanding money better and saving money, ha- you know, having the right uh, job that we enjoy. Like, man, when you just look at that, when it's just taking care of yourself, relationship, work, savings, like, man, it becomes incredibly simple. And then, uh, okay, it, this is where I've got to spend all my time. How do I start looking at it from a more critical lens and try to evolve it into a place where I'm, if I'm going to spend that time, I want it to be with people uh, or experiences or things that bring me joy so that by the time I, I get to the couch and, and scrolling and watching Netflix, it's not the only time I'm going to have joy for the day, uh, true joy. Uh, by completely releasing and and then it's just something that I do as part of something to let go after a, a great day of being around people I enjoy doing stuff that I enjoyed and then when all that stacks together over time that's when you would say to somebody how's things how's things going Jeff how's things going Jeff pretty good pretty good I've been pretty happy been pretty happy you know what I mean? Like you, you're, you're just going to feel happy. And, and then when you begin to look at that from a more mastery standpoint of like, man, I just want to keep getting better and better at designing my life and, and everything in my world that keeps leading me to this more consistent state of joy. Um, because it feels amazing. And I really, truly feel happy. Um, it becomes part of your way of living that you you never want to escape from. You just want to keep getting better and better and better at. And, and you know, for me, I I'm, you know, I would almost consider it another version of the simplicity on the far side of complexity as it relates to, um, you know, the human why. You know, like uh, everybody wants to be happy is too simple for me. Uh, so, you know, going a step further into everybody's actually looking for a harmonious, high quality existence. Um, that's where, uh, happiness exists. Uh, but the reason happiness exists there uh, is because when, when you have complete control of your entire existence and have designed it in a way that you're using it with total intention and and you're growing, evolving into uh, a better version of yourself on an ongoing basis, you will begin to experience joy in all aspects of your life, so much so that every time somebody asks you, how's it going? You're just going to say, man, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. All right, well, look, you know what it is. Just trying to push you there. Just trying to get you to think about it. Uh, it is what I know everybody ultimately wants. Doesn't matter, you know, how successful you are or, or how hard you're struggling. Everybody's trying to to meet in the middle and, and land in that place that we call happy. But you know, you, you you gotta you gotta have a vision for what happiness is. You gotta create a plan that you know can happen, and then you gotta give it all you got till you get there. Until next time, see it, believe it, do it.